If your New Year's resolution is to quit smoking, then keep watching. In today's video, we're going to talk about this amazing quit smoking supplement called Citazine. Let's get into it. Citazine, also known as Citazinoclean, Baptotoxine or Sofrain, is a natural extract derived from the Citasus laburnum plant. It's been around since the 1960s and has been used in parts of the world such as in Eastern Europe to help people quit smoking, although it is not that well known in Western countries. Currently it's available over the counter in many countries such as Canada as a natural health supplement but is prescription only in some areas such as the UK. Citazine works in a similar way as the popular prescription medication Varenicline, which goes by the trade name Champix. When you smoke or inhale nicotine, it attaches to receptors in our brain, which activates the brain's reward center and releases the feel-good chemical dopamine. Citazine and Varenicline attach to those same receptors, which then reduces the pleasurable feelings you get when you smoke nicotine. It reduces cravings, withdrawal effects, and blocks the action of nicotine. Citazine has been found to be more than twice as effective as the placebo to help you quit smoking. A 2023 analysis including 14 clinical trials involving close to 10,000 patients found citizen was superior than placebo in helping people to quit smoking. It was also more effective than traditional nicotine replacement therapy such as gum, lozenges and patches containing nicotine. It was found to be similar in efficacy to the prescription medication Varenicline which as we mentioned before goes by the trade name Champix. It has also been found to be more effective than the traditional quit smoking medication bupropion. Studies have found citazine to be similar in efficacy to varenicline when taken for the same time frame. Citazine taken for 25 days was only slightly less effective than varenicline taken for 12 weeks. Varenicline has more side effects and tends to be more expensive. Citazine has less side effects and is much more cost effective. You can purchase a box of 100 tablets for about $33 of Amazon, which is a full 25 day treatment course. Citazine is a supplement and can be purchased over the counter in countries such as Canada and Poland, although may be prescription only in some areas such as the UK, whereas Varenicline is prescription only. Citazine has a shorter half-life of 4.8 hours versus Varenicline which is 17 hours, therefore needs to be taken more often during the day. Because citazine has such a short half-life, it does have a fairly rigorous dosing schedule where you have to take it fairly often. They come in 1.5 milligram dosages and here is a dosage schedule you should follow. You should set a date to quit smoking somewhere before the fifth day. A box of 100 is enough for 25 days, which is the standard course of treatment. It may be more effective if you take it for 12 weeks. An alternative dosage is to take 3 mg three times a day for 6 to 12 weeks. This was a dosage conducted in recent clinical trials and may be easier to follow if you forget to take tablets. There are possible side effects when taking citazine, but keep in mind some of these may be related to withdrawal symptoms of quitting smoking. Many of these side effects may occur at the beginning and resolve after a while. Side effects include dry mouth, nausea, constipation, diarrhea, increased appetite and weight gain, dizziness, mood changes, anxiety, rash, drowsiness, difficulty sleeping, nightmares, headaches, increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, abdominal pain and muscle pains. It may also affect your concentration and cause taste disturbances and uncommonly can decrease libido, increase sweating, saliva and mucus. There haven't been any large safety concerns regarding citazine. Now side effects such as weight gain may be more related to quitting smoking rather than the actual medication as animal studies actually found citazine to help reduce appetite. <laughs> Be careful if you have heart disease, high blood pressure, pheochromocytoma, which is a tumour in the adrenal glands, atherosclerosis, other peripheral vascular diseases, stomach ulcers, gourd, an overactive thyroid, diabetes, schizophrenia, kidney or liver disease. If you have any of these, speak to your doctor first before taking citazine. Other benefits of citazine may include reducing depression, it may have neuroprotective effects in conditions such as Parkinson's disease and also has the potential to treat type 2 diabetes. So should you try citazine if you're wanting to quit smoking? My vote is yes. This is a great cost-effective supplement with plenty of robust clinical evidence and I would get in quick while you still can get it without a prescription. It may become prescription only before long.
just like in the UK. Why pay upwards of $120 for one month's supply of Verena Clean when you can pay about $30 for Citazine? Thanks for watching this video on the quit smoking supplement Citazine. If you're watching this over the Christmas holidays as the year is coming to an end, I just want to say a big thank you to anyone who supported me on this channel either by liking, subscribing, leaving a comment or watching the videos. I hope you all have a good holidays and hope to see you in the new year. Bye!